All right, well, I got a lot of response to my Dune uh, part two critique and for my hot take video. Now, the hot take I can understand because I really didn't go into a lot of depth on that, but I just figured I'd read some of these, these uh, angry responses that I got from people. So, let's see. Um... I hate how book readers always want the director to include absolutely everything and make a seven hour movie. Thank God we have actual smart people trying to film this. I'm fine with adaptation. I never said that the movie had to include uh, everything that was in the book. That's not really my complaint. Let's see. Sounds just like how people reacted to Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings. I don't know what people expect when books are adapted, keyword, to film. It's a different medium, of course. It's going to be different. Again, uh, not really my complaint that it's an adaptation. I actually like Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings, um, even though it is adapted. To me, Peter Jackson is an adaptation and what Denis Villeneuve has done. I would consider Dune Part 1 an adaptation of the source material. I would consider Dune Part 2 to be a complete rewrite. Complete rewrite. It, it's not the same at all. The character motivations are different. Characters have been completely changed. So on and so forth. So let me scroll down and see what else we got. Um, let's see... Uh, here's one. If the YouTube algorithm didn't work, you'd have five views, and people still don't give a damn about your opinion. That's very constructive criticism. That's, uh, that's great. Okay, here's a sensible response. It says, I think it's okay to dislike the movie, to each their own. But you will need to flesh out the reasons why in a follow-up video, otherwise you'll get flamed. Personally, I enjoyed it a lot, but it wasn't perfect. In particular, I was annoyed, again, by Chani's character. Clearly, she was Zendaya before Chani, so we essentially got a California girl in space. Also, the fighting scenes were underwhelming, both close-ups and large battles. It's just not Villeneuve's forte. But other than that, it was pretty amazing, and I read the books. I just accept some sacrifices need to be made to bring this story to the masses. Now eagerly waiting for Dune Messiah. So that's a pretty reasonable response. Okay. And by the way, I did make a follow-up video. These are all on the um, unpopular opinion, you know, I hate Dune. So I'll go over to my other video where I did the in-depth analysis and read some of the complaints that are there and respond to those. All right, here we go. It says, uh, what a sad attempt at getting clicks. Currently has 65 likes, which is more than the video itself actually has. The video, as it stands right now, has 46 likes. It's got, you know, 2,000 plus uh, views at this point, and it's kind of petered off. Like, it's it really got a lot of traction than the video died and i don't know why the algorithm why youtube pushed this video for like 48 hours i don't understand it uh you can clearly see the videos that i have made on this channel they usually get less than 100 views on average but this one just went insane so for some reason when you make videos that are negative um videos that are like rage videos or videos that are critical YouTube pushes negative content. Um, James, the bold book geek, did a very interesting analysis on this the other day, and I completely concur with him that negative content gets driven by the YouTube algorithm, and I do not understand it. People thrive on negativity for some reason. Now, my response for me, this was my last Jedi. Right? People got mad at the last Jedi, and it basically destroyed Star Wars. The Star Wars fan base has never recovered from it. Star Wars is a dead brand now. It's a completely 
toxic brand. You can't have any fun talking to other Star Wars fans because the people that love Disney Star Wars love it. The people that hate it, hate it. And there is no in-between. There really isn't a middle ground. And so for me, this was... This was the uh, reaction I had to this film was the way that people felt how Luke was done dirty in The Last Jedi. So let's read some of these responses here. Like I said, I read that one. Uh, here's one. An adaptation that makes minor changes to the source material in order to fit the story into two films. Abomination. Uh, clearly this person didn't watch the video at all. By the way, the analytics on this video show that most people don't make it past five minutes. Um, and a lot of people that do stay past five minutes quit at around the seven minute mark. So people just are not watching on a 20, what is this, 28 minute video. Most people aren't watching longer than five to seven minutes. And in fact, most people are quitting around three and a half minutes. You know, so no, barely anybody's watching it to the end. So I don't know how you can come on here and um, make comments that I clearly addressed in this video. It's just the angry response. You know, they're, they're just coming on here and uh, making angry responses. So here's one man angry that film of book is not a book. Much thought, many smart. Uh, yeah, that's that's really childish. Let's see. Emasculated, because I titled this uh, Dune Emasculated. Denny Villeneuve's Dune, right? Emasculated. Pretty sure the Bene Gesserit are running the whole show, just like in the book. And remember that Herbert only wrote Messiah as he felt people didn't get the message about how Paul was bad. So Chani being different is absolutely on point for the movies to steer it that way. Do you just wake up in the morning and get upset about everything? Okay, well, first of all, why would Denny Villeneuve need to make a Dune Messiah at this point if he's already fixed Frank Herbert's uh, material? In fact, in fact, I think it would be interesting to hear Denny's own words here on this subject. Okay, so let's listen to Denny Villeneuve himself. Hopefully you can hear this. Here we go. When Frank Herbert wrote the book, and then when the book came out, he was disappointed how people perceived Paul Atreides. At the time, he felt that people were talking about Paul as a hero. And for him, he was an anti-hero. He was a dark figure. The book was a warning for him about a messianic figure. And for that, he wrote Dune Messiah to correct and to make sure that people understood his intention. I knew that. Okay, so... Denis Villeneuve is saying that when, um, by the way, I've read all the books, people. I've read them, all of Frank's books, so all the people that said I didn't read them, and that I don't understand the books, because that's a big thing that I'm getting, right? People claiming that. So, when Frank wrote this, a lot of people missed the point that it was giving about the dangers of charismatic leaders. That's why Frank Herbert wrote Dune Messiah, to make it absolutely clear that Paul is space Hitler, okay? That's what this was written for. So that's what Denny's saying here. He's saying, oh, Frank wrote this to fix this. Well, this wasn't broken. If you read this carefully, you can pick up the message that, uh, that Frank's laying down. So Denny's saying, I fixed it. Knew that story I had the benefit of having read the Messiah, so I wrote part two, having that in mind. And that is why Shani's character is slightly different. Shani's character is slightly different. No, dude, she's a completely different character. It's not slightly different. She is completely different. In my adaptation than in the book, and it helped me to bring the initial intention of Frank Herbert to the screen. When okay, Frank so there we go. So he said he, he fixed it. So he took and adapted... When he had, he had this in mind when he wrote part two, Dune part two. And has Chani be the voice of, of uh, telling us Paul bad. You know, Paul, Paul bad. You bad. That's, that's my problem. Now, if Denny, Denny is adapting and making a Dune part three. Okay, he is. He's already said he's doing it. So my point is, what is the point of making a Dune Messiah 
if you've already beat the audience over the head with the message that Paul is bad. I mean, come on. Okay, well, let's get back to some more of these comments. Another comment. Another red-pilled, middle-aged, white guy complaining. This is a fine adaptation that doesn't try the legacy of the original book, but I wish it did because of how much it would piss you off. Yeah, that's, that's great. Let's see. Uh, red-pilled alpha male guy. <laughs> Uh, let's see. The changes to Chani's character is not an attempt to make her a strong, independent woman or whatever. Chani is a pretty nothing character in the books. Her role is basically just love and comfort Paul and just go along with whatever he does. The movie... So, <laughs> I would disagree with that assessment. Um, read the book again. Chani's not a nothing character. Okay, Chani's not a nothing character. This Chani is not Chani. This Chani might as well be renamed Karen because it's not Chani at all. Let's see. Uh, I noticed while watching that you point out a lot of difference between the book and the films, but you never really explain why one is better than the other. Okay, I did. I said that the, that the book, the movie has been dumbed down. So, I mean, that's a point. You point out that Paul's motivations have changed. You don't explain why the death of Leto II is what pushes him over the edge. Leto II, Paul's child with Chani. Uh, the fact that he's missing from the film, okay? It removes any maternal... Uh, the maternal part of Chani's character has been removed. She's a mother. Her role as a mother has been removed. Her role as a daughter has been removed. Her role as the niece to Stilgar has been removed. All of these family attachments have been eliminated so that she is an independent woman. Okay, that's the reason why she can walk out at the end. If her and Paul have a child together, why would she leave Paul? They would have the, um, they would have had a child together. I mean, it's, they don't have a child together. They're kind of like, will they, won't they in this movie? Are they going to hook up? Are they not going to hook up? Um, she's completely different from the book. So, again, why do you need Dune Part 2? Why do you need Dune Messiah? Why do you need a Dune Part 3 if you've already injected the, the core message into the film? You're dead wrong. You can't cram every story point from a book that takes 21 plus hours to read into a two-part movie. Villeneuve completely captured the essence of the story. The long shots and the scores set the tone and really transport you into the Dune universe. Okay, I never said you need to cram every plot point into a 21, in, into three, uh, into two movies that take six hours. The point is, is that the, the Sci-Fi Channel did an adaptation of this film back in the year 2000 that was shorter runtime than both of Denise films together and did a better job at adapting the source material. A much better job. It's just so low budget. I mean, if Denny Villeneuve could have taken the script from that and just shot the film with the Hollywood budget uh, and that script, it would have been amazing. Okay, let's see. I absolutely love dune but i understand they can only put so much into a five to six hour movie give them a break great job with the two movies again not my argument you didn't watch the video because that's not my argument my argument wasn't that they didn't put everything in i even said i understand it's an adaptation okay we're just we're rehashing stuff again uh, would have welcomed some constructive criticism in this sea of positivity for the film, but this is just bad. Not gonna lie. I skipped to seven minutes. I heard you say the film was feminist and I tuned out. Okay, so I give reasons why the film has been injected with feminism. And b uh, by the way, Denny Villeneuve is on the record saying that he did make the movie more feminist. And people have been on the record that worked on this film saying that the problem with the film is that the women are weak. And I don't know how you get that. How do you get that the women are not uh, prominent enough in, in the movie already or in the book already? Like he, what they did to the Lady Jessica here was they basically turned her into the Lady Macbeth. They really changed her character and her motivations as well. 
here's another one. Taking away a ninja four-year-old is taking away the adult parts. Get a grip. You're saying people coming at you haven't read the book. You're trying to gatekeep, but only read this recently. I read this back in the 90s. Read it every decade and loved the film. I'm watching it for the visuals. If I want all the details of the story, I read the book. Again, that's not my complaint. Did you actually watch? Did you actually pay attention? Because uh, it's not about the four-year-old, you know, taking away the speaking four-year-olds, taking away the adult parts. It's so much more than that. And my my um, my uh, suggestion to this individual that made this comment is read the book again. Maybe it's been a decade since you read it. The book altered, or this film altered a lot more than you think it did. A lot more than you think it did. Uh, let's see. What a boring take. The, let's see. There are people that agree. Totally agree with you. Uh, this adaptation is fantastic and stays pretty damn true. It's masterful storytelling and makes it so compelling and work for the movie. This is... Denny's vision of the world and his version of Dune. That I agree with that. It's his version. This isn't Frank Herbert's Dune. If you just slap Denny Villeneuve's Dune on the title of the film, I probably wouldn't have as much problem with it. But the fact that we were... This is what I mean by bait and switch. Part one was a pretty faithful adaptation. So I went into this movie thinking that it was going to be a faithful adaptation of part two. And it's a complete rewrite. Anyways, I know nobody's listening everybody's tuned out at this point already it's just here's a here um i think you should focus more on the overall quality of the project it treats the world of dune with a ton of respect yeah i, I disagree i think that uh the character of chani and the changes that it made are actually disrespectful to frank to frank herbert um Again, Denny went in this with the attitude of he had to fix Frank Herbert's work. It's not your job to fix the material. It's not. Uh, why don't you go fix William Shakespeare, you know? Why don't you uh, take all the problematic elements of Macbeth and just rewrite it? Because, you know, the Lady Macbeth just comes off as a, a toxic character. And it's not a good... Uh, representation of women so why don't you rewrite Shakespeare and make a uh, Shakespeare film I mean come on dude this is ridiculous uh, let's see insecurity much nope not at all knowing that I was gonna get flamed for making this uh, I'm pretty secure I can handle it tell me how insecure you are in your masculinity without telling me how insecure you are or oh, wait I guess you just did tell us yeah brilliant comment Pretty terrible video, to be honest. I don't even think you watched it. How embarrassing for you. Why? Because I have uh, an opinion that, I mean, that goes against the mainstream? Um, whatever. I'm not, uh, I'm not embarrassed of it. Genuinely impressive you can read these books and can't pick up any themes. The book is criticizing the white savior and patriarchy, and you can't even see that. Are you serious? <laughs> first of all it never gives paul's race how do you know he's a white savior you don't know that you're just assuming that he is um white savior and the pa criticizing patriarchy actually if you've read the entire series frank makes critique on all forms of different forms of government so uh, again what what are you talking about Oh, uh, let's see. Here's a good one. Found the insecure incel. Again, ad homonyms. Oh, uh, let's see. All right. Disliked. Uh, never do this again. Again. Um, whatever. I'm done. I just wanted to take a minute to respond to some of these and uh, I have read the books, by the way, everybody. Here they are. I've read them. I've read this twice. So I think I know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, it's just a lot of people, they like, they like Chani being updated um, as a strong woman, uh, which their idea of strong just means more masculine because all of the femininity of this character has been stripped away. And I'm going to post a, I'm going to put in the description box a link to a talk that Jonathan Pajau did about, you know, the the inversion of the masculine and what's taking place in culture right now. And uh, I'll put that down below so you can watch that because I think it's right on point with this film. Anyways, this is my last word on Dune. I'm out. So go ahead and come at me with your hate. I don't care. Have a wonderful day.